All right, we got joint variation as well. Um, the difference between this and what we've what you've learned already in the past with direct variations and indirect variations is now we have three three variables x, y, and z, and y varies jointly as x and as x and z if the wording of this is really weird for some non-zero constant k y equals x uh, k x z. And all of these, it's just important to remember y equals kxz. I, I would probably say better to solve for k, right? Manipulating the formula. I would say k is y over xz, which just gives us the value of k. Mention this. Um, e, no, I should. All right, find an equation uh, of variation if A varies jointly as B and C, and A equals 72 when B equals 6 and C equals 73. So we're saying A varies jointly with B and C. So A will equal K times uh, B times C. So we want the equation for this, right? Which means that all we're gonna need to do is find K and k, as we have already seen, or if we manipulated that equation, would be a over b times c. And it told us up here at the top that a is 72, b is 6, which kind of looks like a 6, b looks like a 6. And then c is the 3. So I got 72 divided by 6 times 3 is 18, uh, 4, 4. So in the equation, again, we're just going to replace the k with what it is, 4. There's our equation.